So today I wanted to talk about the Truth Teller Grenade Launcher. So this grenade launcher is in the lightweight frame category, which means it is a one-shot handheld grenade launcher with remote detonation. And guys, to be honest, I think this thing is going to replace the mountaintop since the mountaintop is going to get sunset. We need another grenade launcher and this thing can roll with some serious perks. And with this video I mainly wanted to focus on the PvE role since I got a very good PvE role but the PvP role just doesn't want to drop from me. But we will still go over what the best PvP role is in my opinion. And I will also tell you where to get this grenade launcher so let's get right into it. So guys this is a world drop which means you can get it from Vanguard tokens, you can get it from Crucible tokens and you can even get it from Gunsmith tokens but it is quite rare there. And I'm pretty sure you can also get it from Rahul, but who wants to spend 25 shards just to get a random legendary? The loophole is very big now, guys. But of course, if you're laying on a pile of legendary shards, go ahead and try to get this gun. Now for the weapon stats, this grenade launcher has 26 stability, 72 handling, 74 reload speed, 77 velocity, and a blast radius of 55. It fires at 90 rounds per minute, and of course there's only one in the magazine. So let's look at the possible roles on this grenade launcher. In column 1 you can have a volatile launch for minus 5 handling, plus 15 blast radius, but minus 5 velocity. Then you can have confined launch for plus 15 stability, plus 10 blast radius, and minus 10 velocity. And then you have countermass for plus 10 stability, plus 30 recoil, and plus 10 handling. Then you have hard launch for minus 10 stability, minus 5 blast radius and plus 15 velocity. And then you have linear compensator for plus 5 stability, plus 5 velocity, plus 5 blast radius. And then you have quick launch for plus 15 handling and plus 10 velocity. And then as the last one smart drift control for plus 10 stability, plus 10 handling, plus 5 velocity plus 15 recoil. So for this grenade launcher you definitely want to go with the most blast radius. Since this thing is remote detonate you want to make sure you get every single enemy in the proximity of the grenade. So for column 1 I would go with volatile launch or confined launch but if you don't have either of those that is fine because it won't matter that much. Then for column 2 oh boy then we're getting into the sweet stuff. You have blinding grenades, you have proximity grenades, you have spike grenades, you have high velocity rounds. You have implosion rounds and then you have concussion grenades. So for PvE I would say there's two very good options here. You either have proximity grenades for more ad control because it's going to explode right before it hits them as in a proximity or you want to go with spike grenades for that extra damage on a direct hit and I would aim for this more because proximity is nice but since you can remote detonate this grenade launcher I don't feel like you really need it. So spike grenades is the top tier here for PvE. For PvP I would go with blinding grenades or proximity grenades. Proximity grenades so that when you fire a shot off you don't have to you know directly hit them or you can just come close and then clean them up with a hand cannon. That's very nice. Or you can go with blinding grenades and you can blind your enemy and confuse the hell out of them. Then for column 3 we have more interesting options. We have auto loading holster, we have grave robber, we have field prep, we have underdog and we have feeding frenzy. And then in column 4 you have demolitionist, multi kill clip, quick draw, swashbuckler or disruption break. And for PvE you definitely want to go with feeding frenzy and multi kill clip. That combination is so sweet where you just kill an enemy, you activate feeding frenzy, you reload and then you activate multi kill clip for that extra damage. It's gonna be very nice. Or you either want to go with grave robber and swashbuckler. I mean that combo is also so sweet. I have it on mine and I have to tell you it's very very nice to get that 5 times swashbuckler by just mealing an enemy and then hitting other enemies with it. It's very nice. Well, you can also go with Feeding Frenzy Demolitionist. It's not bad at all to have Demolitionist. You're gonna have your grenade all the time. Then for PvP, I would definitely look for Auto Loading Holster and Quick Draw. And together with Blinding Grenades and Proximity Grenades, that's very nice. You'll switch your grenade launcher, pop a shot off, and then clean them up with your primary. Or maybe Auto Loading Holster and Disruption Break. You pop their shields and then you clean them up with your primary. It's very nice. Or of course feeding frenzy and multi kill clip also works very nice in pvp here so yeah guys with mountaintop being sunset you might want to look out for this grenade launcher if you have the right rolls on it this thing can do some serious damage and it's very fun to use and that rounds up my review of the truth teller grenade launcher let me know what kind of role you guys have or you'll be looking out for down in the comments and if you like this video 
please press that like button and consider subscribing because I'll be making more reviews. And thanks for watching.